move that. Hmm. I guess taking it out of the box doesn't really make it much smaller.
Oh, one more luck. Oh, yeah. That's some good stuff. I am going to leave this under wraps until I can come back and calmly perform the break-in procedure and all things I need to do to get it working. Because, of course, I want to just start playing with it. But I want to have this thing for a long time. So I don't want to screw around right now and break it because I'm rushing to mess with it and then go off and do something else. Oh, I can't believe it's here. That's so awesome. I guess I'm going to have to give my old drill press to one of my kids. Oh, are they going to be excited about that? Yo, 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 J to the me. I got it figured out, yo. You got to get yourself a zip line with a crane attached to it. You can hoist that thing up in the air and then you get some rockets. Zoom right into the workshop. Peace. I figure six months of development. $14,500, maybe if you cut a few corners and get it down to $13,000. Dude, six months from now, you get that thing in there, no problem. You know it's in the workshop already, right? It took like an hour. And it made some muscles. Okay. Oh, hold on, we can build a zip line for the little accessory bits and the, the manual. Zoom, peace, rockets and all that. Right now I'm following the break-in procedure, to the letter. It involves just running the spindle forward and backwards at a bunch of different speeds. It takes like an hour and a half. The sun is almost down and I'm on my last two things right now. This just has to go another few minutes spinning forward and then reverse it to reverse and this is the highest speed and then I'm done and then I think the manual says I can actually use it yeah, 2000 rpm and then it's on to something else excellent all right almost done all right 10 minutes for reverse and I'm dead Sapphire and faded jeans, you're gonna get... Go away, get out of here!